Hi, this is Gabriel Duplicating Systems, and here are 10 things you need to know before buying a copier. Buying a copier can be a lot like buying a house or a car. You can either buy the machine outright with cash, or you can lease the copier using the fair market value or using a dollar buyout lease. There are advantages and disadvantages to whichever method you want to use, and if you want to learn more about buying a copier, you can watch our video about lease agreements by clicking this gray card in the upper right corner. Every copier has a machine specification called pages per minute. This refers to how many pages your copier can print in one minute. Copiers will come with multiple PBM specifications for copying, scanning, and printing. PBM is also affected by the paperweight you're using. The lighter the paper, the faster the machine can print. Also, if you're printing in black and white or color, black and white printing is always going to be faster. Lastly, the higher the PBM in the machine, the more expensive it'll be. A great rule of thumb for deciding how fast you need your machine to be is, the more people you have using one machine, the faster it should be. For example, our customers that work in education generally use copiers that are running at at least 40 ppm because they can expect multiple teachers trying to use the copier at one time. Copiers can come with optional equipment such as finishers, fax machines, and paper banks. Finishers can have all sorts of features such as automatic stapling, hole punching, and booklet making. Paper banks can also be known as large capacity trays, and these allow your copier's max paper capacity to increase. These pieces of optional equipment can significantly increase the capability of your copier and make your life easier. We have a video covering just finishers, and if you want to learn more about what finishers can do, click on the gray card in the upper right corner. Copiers and printers can either be black and white only or color machines. Black and white machines are generally cheaper than color machines and their toner is generally cheaper as well. If you have a need for color prints, then this should be an easy choice. But if you don't know if you need color printing, then consult with an account manager from your local copier dealer. So there are many different sizes and speeds of copiers. You've got copiers that come with scanning and printing capability, which we call MFDs or multifunction devices. You've got standalone copiers called duplicators and standalone printers that are the size of copiers. You also have smaller desktop size copiers that have all the same features as a regular copier, but can now fit on your desk. For larger print jobs, we have wide formats that can print on paper that are 24, 44, and 60 inches wide. Some wide formats can go even bigger. Wide formats are also known as plotters, and they can be standalone printers, or come with the scanner on top so that you can also scan wide format documents. Wide formats are designed for blueprints, large photos, wallpapers, and anything else you can think of. Today's copiers can scan documents for certain features such as invoice numbers or customer IDs, and then use that information to automatically place the document into the customer's folder on your server. Or if you want all that information sent directly to a cloud database of your choosing, you can do that as well. Copiers have become even more connected to the outside world, and if you want to learn more about copier technology, you can click on this gray card in the upper right corner. The copier industry upgrades the machines fast. In the copier world, many people consider machines over five years old out of date. All of the newer models made by Rico Savin and Canon feature 11 inch touchscreens and machines designed to easily interface with cloud applications. The newer models are much easier to use and they have the ability to work with new technologies that can make document storage much easier. There's nothing wrong with older copiers, especially if you're planning on just using them for copying. But if you're using an older copier and you want it to print and scan years into the future, then you may be in trouble. It is common practice for manufacturers to not update their machines beyond a certain age. When you buy a copier, either outright or under release, you'll also have the opportunity to enter into a service agreement for that copier. The benefits of a service agreement vary from copier dealer to copier dealer, but it can include both in the field and remote technical support. Your copier dealer may also deliver or mail ink and toner to your door. If you'd like to learn more about service agreements, you can click on the gray card in the upper right corner. Not every copier delivers the same kind of quality prints. The quality of your prints will differ from model to model and will differ from brand to brand. Some brands build copiers designed for only black and white printing of text, 
Other brands build copiers that will do excellent color matching and print out high quality photos from the copier. I recommend doing your research and finding out which brand best fits the kind of printing you'll be doing. If you shop online for large copiers and wide format printers, you can find some pretty good deals for all sorts of brands. But when buying from an online seller, expect to encounter a lot of pitfalls during the purchasing process. Most copiers have dozens of optional equipment and configurations. Picking the best setup for yourself can be difficult. Once you pick the machine you think is best for you, now you have to get that machine to your office and installed inside the building. After that, what about purchasing consumables or servers for your new copier? Where do you go about that? <laughs> Purchasing from an online seller can leave you holding the bag for all of these challenges, which is fine if you have the time and the expertise to maintain your own copier. A local copier dealer can cover all of these potential challenges because a respectable dealer will have decades of experience in dealing with these sorts of issues. But before buying a copier, a wide format, a shredder, or whatever from an imaging dealer, first find a dealer you can trust. And the best way to do that is to talk to them. The difference between buying online and buying from a dealer is either you do all the work surrounding your new machine, or you have a copier dealer help you with choosing a new machine, moving that machine to your office, and buying supplies like toner, and offering technical expertise should your machine need service. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us down in the comments below or contact us directly at Duplicating Systems. Our contact information is in this video's description. I hope this video helped and thank you for watching.